Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and we have massive breaking news for you out of the Supreme Court. Folks, before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. Now, the Supreme Court has decided in a 6-3 to three decision that affirmative action-based admissions for colleges are unconstitutional and violate the 14th Amendment. This is a huge blow to affirmative action overall in the workplace and everywhere, and probably will have other cases of affirmative action, like workplace affirmative action, being challenged. This is a massive victory for fairness. It's a massive victory for meritocracy. So meritocracy means you earn your spot. You can't just get it because of your race or your gender or your sexual orientation or to meet some kind of quota. You have to actually earn the job, the position, the college admission that you're working towards. Liberals are going to be incensed with this. They're going to be furious. You're going to hear all the hand-wringing and pearl-clutching about how racism is now going to come back and we're going to keep the people of color out of jobs and out of schools, just like in the old days. I admit that in the old days, affirmative action was necessary. It was needed. People were being kept out of schools and out of jobs and out of things like that because of their race. But it's 2023. We are far beyond that as a nation. And if you don't believe that, then you don't believe in America. And if you don't believe that people today are way beyond that, then you're missing the boat. This is not 100 years ago. It's not even 50 years ago. People today, much kinder to other people, people who are, quote, different than them, it's, it's a totally different thing. I think, I believe in America. I believe we see people as people and not as the color of their skin or their race or their sexual orientation or their nation of origin or any of that. I believe it and the Supreme Court apparently believes it. People were being kept out of schools who deserved it over lesser qualified people just based on meeting a quota. How is that fair? How is that fair to anybody involved in this whole thing? It's not. It can't be. It can never be fair. And that's why affirmative action is a racist policy that violates the 14th Amendment and should have been struck down long ago. Fortunately, this Supreme Court finally did something about it. And, you know, they've had a series of disappointing decisions lately that I think have left us all a little bit stunned, like the decision in the North Carolina elections, which shocked me that they would actually go against what's clearly written in the Constitution in my opinion. But this one they got right, and I think they deserve some props and some credit for that. Great job, Supreme Court. You nailed this one. And you brought fairness back to the schools and hopefully to the workplace and everywhere else as soon as this is implemented. Great job. Now, folks, I want to know your opinion on this. Is affirmative action a relic of the past, no longer needed? Or are you disappointed that affirmative action is gone? And do you think it's something that our country still needs? There's going to be a variety of, of opinions on this, and I accept that. So I want to know your opinion on it. Let me know in the comments. Please, also, share, like, subscribe, do all those cool things that really help our channel continue growing and continue spreading the conservative message. I'm Carmine Sabia. This is Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody.